<laughs> Arissa, their spawn is. It really isn't that serious. She's not. You're the fuck <laughs> in their spawn. Okay, Warren. Okay. Oh, okay. Warren. Okay. Warren Weekly! <laughs> you, maybe if you hit them up and I ult, wait, give me a second. Okay, are you ready? Oh, 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 oh. Yo, what is good guys? Welcome back to another installment of Warren TV Makes a Settings video and today we're gonna be taking a look at McCree. You guys have been asking for a McCree settings video since the Widow settings video and it has been months now. My YouTube comments have been blowing the hell up and it's mostly because you guys really want to take a look into a top 500 player settings and copy it. Now what I will say right now and what I said in the first ever settings video that I made regarding Ash and regarding all heroes is that these settings will not necessarily help you climb. I want to make that very clear. It's full fucking transparency. What I recommend and what I've always recommended is adapt your own settings around your own play style. How I play is not necessarily how you play. Be just because I play slow and methodical, as I always have said, and just because I like to take my time with my shots, doesn't necessarily mean that you, you need to adapt to that specifically. It works for me. It might not work for you. It might not work for the compositions you guys run. It might not necessarily work for the people that are in your respective games, in your respective rank. So what I want you to, like, just, just take a moment right now and and don't fucking blame me if you guys can't climb if these settings don't work for you however i'm gonna do my best to explain them and uh really give my my take on exactly why i'm running them the last thing i would like to say before we hop right into it is these settings were heavily inspired by a friend of mine named soul smash he's actually the number one mccree on ps4 overwatch and he watches my stream pretty often so Pretty much the first person I went to whenever I wanted to and decided to make this settings video. And you're going to notice throughout this video that I'm going to be putting specific clips that he sent me to further explain why these settings make sense for that specific scenario. The one thing I would like to say, his settings are much faster. He runs 100 100 and basically no aim assist. However, I do feel like we should take advantage of the console aid that Blizzard has given us being aim assist and being very strong aim smoothing. So let's get right into it. The first thing I would like to point out right off the rip is I bumped up my sensitivity from 5450 on all heroes and Ash to 6460. And it's a very similar concept to Widow, but the only difference being McCree's main objective is to deal with flankers, being Tracer or Doomfist or even Hammond for that matter, Sombra, anything in between. You're gonna need to land those flashes and those quick headshots in order to take full advantage of that margin of opportunity. <laughs> Shit on that kid so bad. So when I left another reason why you might want very high sensitivity or higher sensitivity on McCree instead of other heroes is it's a little bit more difficult to deal with the likes of Far. You're not gonna be able to two tap for the most part, especially if it's a good aggro Farah. However, I do want to mention that slower sensitivity. I don't typically like the 100 100 strat. I like to run 64 60. It gives me some level of comfort, especially when running those duels at range. Now, nothing has really changed per se in my settings for aim assist with regards to all heroes. Aim assist strength. 100. I want to make sure that you guys know how important it is to comfort controller gameplay. You guys know as well as I do that controller is a lot more difficult than keyboard or mouse without a doubt. The analog sticks are not necessarily the most precise is the word I'm looking for. By having these aim assist settings, it's going to definitely help you lean into it. Um, aim assist strength, 100. Aim assist window size, 90. Now, there's a reason why it's not 100. On all heroes, I usually have it 100. What window size basically implies is past that hitbox, past that window size, your aim is going to slow down. And I know I'm using my hands a lot. But the difference being, when McCree is usually dealing with smaller targets, you don't necessarily want it to slow down too quickly, um, being that it might not be as accurate. <laughs> So 
aim ease in is a setting from 0 to 100 that makes your crosshair less likely to move away from a straight line if that value is higher. You want to leave it at 50, that way there it's not necessarily too straight, but at the same time you're able to move diagonally when facing different targets and when facing a target that's, ag I mean, aggressively pushing towards you, being a far or an Echo or a Genji per se. <laughs> This is one setting where Smash and I differentiate. He typically sets his aim smoothing to zero. I appreciate it, and I take whatever comfort controller offers us. I think that aim smoothing is very important. Aim smoothing basically implies, well, I mean, hence the name, smoother. <laughs> and why not take full advantage of that? Now, the moment you guys have all been waiting for, and I've been waiting for specifically because I want to get you involved in the comments, and we've done this many of times. Do you guys use vibration? Because if you do, you're probably a sociopath. Leave it off. Telling you, man. It tr uh, Trust me, it messes with your hand-eye coordination. I don't know exactly why that is, but since the dawn of time, I've always turned it off, and that is not going to change anytime soon. Keep vibration off. Make sure you're staying fucking consistently in the game. So many people in my previous videos have given me absolute shit for not knowing what each aim technique does. That's because when I got the game, I ran dual zone and I stuck with it and it felt comfortable. And I don't necessarily think you could take that away from me. But to give you some level of insight, dual zone after, basically just means after you pass the threshold, the midway threshold, the acceleration increases a lot, allowing you to turn and do bigger movements. It's default. Stick with it. You don't need to you don't need to excessively change your settings And that's something that I've always preached in every single video that I make is you don't need to mimic settings from the best of the best Players who have adapted a playstyle around their settings for years Now I think dual zone is very consistent and it doesn't necessarily hinder your ability to deal with flankers or deal with people straight in front of you Or deal tank damage. I mean, I've been doing it for years as well, and I'm still maintaining top 500 So give it a try uh, don't necessarily opt to run, you know, exponential ramp just because the best players are doing that. Get pump, Zarya. Smash are crazy. I'll give you guys the benefit of the doubt. I use a dot. I've always used a dot. But Soul Smash uses a small green crosshair. If that's what makes you comfortable, go for it. But I find that the Scion dot contrasts very well with most maps. And at that, mimics what you might run in other games. Such as Call of Duty. I always use the blue dot. Um, and it just felt comfortable. So... Um, I mean, this doesn't change. This is something I've always had in all my settings video, and I hi like I highly, highly recommend it. Um, it definitely helps with my aim. So Soul Smash made sure to tell me to mention this setting right here because it's going to change your entire playstyle for the better. That is, set your toggle crouch to R3 instead of circle. Uh, you guys know that in the majority of my settings video, I have it set to circle just because I enjoy melee headshot melee with Ash. Uh, because it's a one-shot combo, that is. But on McCree, you are much more likely to win a duel against the likes of a Widow, Ash, or Hanzo if you have that crouch readily available. It's so important to spam crouch and to make sure that your headshot hitbox is not that easy to hit, especially considering McCree has a pretty big headshot hitbox. Running Hanzo? Hanzo sit behind guys. Yo, nice, nice. Cover up where at the back? What the fuck? It's cracked. It's so Yo, this guy needs it. And so that pretty much wraps up this video I want you to let me know in the comments if there's a specific hero that you would like to see in this setting series You guys know I'm going to hit up the best of the best players in order to give these videos some level of credibility Because as you may know, I'm an Ash one trick go check out the twitch channel Come hang out with me have a good time and support console overwatch for what it is because I promise we're only getting started Leave a like comment subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace out guys Yo, coming at you. This is why we lost the game, by the way. I just want I just want you guys to know this is why we lost the game. Oh, Kevin! To let you know that you're my favorite streamer. Are you being honest? You're just kidding. You're the worst fucking streamer I have ever seen. Fire in the back. Got Anna. Tomorrow is burning one. Yeah. No way. No. Oh, mercy, I'm sorry. Mercy. One, I'm sorry. Mercy, I'm so sorry. Oh no! Yes. Don't force everything he says. Well, he, 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 he texts his right, dog, I mean, you know, he actually plays- Get your fucking eagle out of here! In, Get your eagle I'm out of here! I don't wanna fucking hear it! I'm you know, Ryan's really not, not really valid about. anymore, but... Well, yeah, I, neither is Ana! Neither is Ana! You went yeah, Ana fucking Arisa! What?